Hi everybody, welcome back to yet another video. This time around we are doing a photo session for a few brands. Uh, we got Bratim right here that sent us a bunch of stuff inside those boxes. There's shoes, uh, shirts, stickers, uh, linears, a few a few items. And then we got Soulsfang sending us these shoes with some socks. Uh, and so we are gonna use this tiny, tiny room that I call my office. So I wanted to take the, uh, this as an opportunity to show you that even though you might have limited space uh, or you don't have the means to rent a studio, you can still work it out. I have an old TV. This is a 720. Uh, it's super old. It's been with us for almost 10 years. Yeah, it's pretty old. I'm gonna use it as a backdrop, changing images, and then I'm gonna try to bring the shoe over here and keep it hanging. Something uh, more towards levitation and photography. We're gonna use fishing uh, line to suspend them. Uh, hopefully it's gonna look good enough, but this is just to show you, use what you have, you know? Don't, don't have to spend tons of money just to take a few photos. And I do wanna take the opportunity as well to thank the two sponsors for this video. Bratin, thank you so much for sending me. Uh, all the items that you guys have been sending me in the past uh, much love from me to you guys thank you so much for supporting what we do as well and our newest one which is soul Spank. thank you so much for the shoes um, hope you like the results and i uh, hope to see more shoes in my mailbox <laughs> big shout out to you guys please follow them on instagram at bradham or bratim um, and, uh, and then soul Spank. Uh, I'll put those links in the description as well. Um, so big shout out to you guys. Thank you so much and uh, let's do the setup. Alright guys, so I have my two Evil 200s with uh, grids on and barn doors as well to prevent from spilling onto the screen and created glare on it. I'm using my 85 1.8 Sony on my A7R4. Pretty much what we're gonna do is do a test shot without the flash, see how it looks in the background. Uh, it's well lit and then we'll add the light. I'll try to have this as stable as possible. I know any movement the breeze even me walking on the floor is gonna move the shoe because it's on strings uh, preferably will be on a solid concrete uh, floor that'll be better but i'm on a second floor in my on my office everything every step i make is gonna make that shake so hey here we go we're gonna do a test yes, i'm at f5.6 i'm probably gonna go a little bit more towards f8 at F8, I'm getting very poor lighting in the background, so I guess I'm gonna slow down my shutter around 30 or 40. Then my ISO, I'm gonna bump it up just a tiny bit and see how that looks. That is a little better. I'm gonna go ahead and add the strobes, see how that looks. And I'm gonna have it, that is super blown up. I have my, there is no diffusion on it, so I guess I'm gonna go 128. There. Still super blown up because this is such a tiny space. I can do the things. Diffuse this thing, move it further out. I don't have that choice. I could use my brown head thing here and diffuse that, but that's gonna spread it out. I don't want that. Ooh, what to do, what to do. All right, I'm gonna adjust my aperture. Let's see if that helps my shutter speed. Let's do 125. Right. Try that. Okay, now I get perfect exposure, but I lost the background. Okay, so I'm definitely have to um, 
diffuse that real quick. I'll be right back. Okay, while searching on my round head kit, I found a diffuser. And this right here is like a silicon that focuses the flash onto a single spot. We're going to test that out, see how it works. We'll see, we'll see. Okay. Let's give it a try. Okay, that is much better. I can even go slower. Or raise the ISO. Let's try that out. I like it. Good, good. Doing good so far. F10. Let's try to go. 200 ISO. All right, so at this point, I'm getting closer to what I want, but I don't want to raise the power on that. Okay, I think I'm good there. That one needs to be diffused for sure. Let me see if I can put this on. Let's try this cloth right here. It's too thick. Paper. All right, I put in some paper in there. The one that came in from the shoe, we'll see how that looks. That looks good. Turn this off. Okay, let's see, how you still, buddy. That looks great. I'm happy with that. All right, so we got this shoe right there. Let's try to bring the other shoe, see how we're gonna add it to the... Photo, maybe somewhere in the background. Tiny bit. Let's push them back just a tiny bit. I'm just gonna bring the compost real quick. Fantastic. You guys gotta stay very still. I try to move this a tiny bit back. Okay, so I'm gonna raise the power on that one. It's probably at 64. Try this. A little bit higher, 16. Much better. All right, so I just uh, untie the laces and then tie them up to the fishing line. Good. All right, we're gonna change the background. Something else. Okay, let's try that. Dang, I love that look. All right, my friends, that wraps up today's photo shoot. I'm gonna be adding some of the images to the video so you guys could have some context. Uh, I kind of stopped recording halfway to it because I wanted to focus on the photo shoot itself. Uh, but hey, we were able to take some good photos, change the background, 
and play around with the fishing line. We just gotta do some Photoshop cleanup and uh, we should be good. Quite happy with the results. Of course, we're gonna do another portion of it outdoors once I get some models. We'll let you know once that's guys for watching and uh, we'll probably see you in the next video. So.